bad yeah. when it comes to damage. So, no, unfortunately, not much there. Good try. If you had last word, definitely kill. If that was the last word being cast, but unfortunately not the case. On seven? Oh my, they're so low. The TP in. It's going to be from Jerex to the Astral, but it's just not enough damage. Bone seven is able to get out and tangle up. S4 is pretty low as well. He needs to be careful. Bone seven is going to come back and he doesn't have mana for the Slithering Crush. They'll look at each other. S4 has the clap, but it's only level one. That was like, they're just like, hey, what's going on? Slithering Crush. Bone seven is just going to be. Well, I can't get S4. Now he's going to get clapped up here. Meanwhile, Jirax is the first blood of Milan, and he picks up a double. He has the Maledict on him. I don't think he's going to fall. That was the most awkward thing I've ever seen. Weird, but it's what they have to do in this game. They're moving, like, the Vengeful Spirit. They ganked mid. Now he's going to gank top. Oh, oh, man. I thought I just went for the brief fire there. There's the split coming out, like you mentioned, in 3-3. He's going to get bouldered up. They already used the uh, Cyclone on him. I don't really know if they can get the skill. He might have mana when he gets out. He doesn't have mana when he gets out. It's going to be close. He's wild of charge. He gets the kill anyway, though. The fire panic coming in. The boulder smash as well. The clap getting canceled. He's so close. Bone 7. He's got the three crush. He'll get it off. Now he's in trouble. S4 about to fall. And we'll go down to the tower. It looks like he just claps his way into oblivion. Now mid lane, they will rotate a no tail as well as Ana. The cast is gonna bounce through. Jump it, triple it. Sonic wave on this dude. No tail getting low. He gets the torn up before dying. The sleep follows up as well, but Ana takes the damage from Maldix. They want to just kill. They can't get it with Jerex. Trying to go with the stable gun, and again will fall. Three dead on OG side. Breathe fire from the wand. Oh, he had that infused raindrop. And now the cast will go again. Magic is off cooldown in one. There it is. And it's a double kill for 3-3. Three, three. What just what, what just happened, for OG? Uh, wants to defend this, and then of course our is gonna walk his way there. Another TP coming in. This time it's Milan. S4 getting ready to clap. They might cancel this. Torrent not connecting a lot of points for the long TP time. They have to get off the ultimate, but they just don't get it in time to get a offering. They've already lost S4. No kill, pretty speedy. Here comes Ana, turns on the other dragon for the dragon tail. X marks on the boats of a good sleep to keep everybody back in at bay. And it looks like they might only lose Ana here, or excuse me, uh, S4, but Ana is trying to go to work. Do the best that he can. They rotated up the silencer. There's the global. They'll get Milan first and foremost. Everybody getting low. Bone 7 included. Attic offering attack. still pushing the back. Had that not been there, OG might feel confident to move up and start fighting. It's not the case. Is they're going to just go their separate ways for the time being. Bone 7 still rather low. Ana looking to back up. There's the Elder Titan coming in. Stomp not connected, but 3-3 does take the Arcane Curse. And last word, it shouldn't be it up. They do find the torn. Bone 7 will fall. RC pops off the Shadow Earth. Swap back, 3-3, three, three, trying to do good job. Sonic Wave will bring down one. Meanwhile, they get the Echoes. Uh, Earth Splitter coming out, but it's just not enough damage. In fact, it misses completely onto a rise. Magic oh. Missile, a double kill for 3-3. Three, three. They take down another. This time, it's Dyer's the Warlock as well as Fly Sounds are going down the trade in the end. Potentially, but our Zeke's gonna walk in. Clap should go. We'll connect with this. I mean, use brain drop, but look at Fly going to work. Six stolen intelligence, and with that, as well as the primal split, they will find the kill. They're looking for a cyclone target. They'll find Milan. They have to spell magic 3 3 hiding behind the brush. Still is gonna be able to get out. He's the swap ready if need be. Bone 7 is also just piecing out at this point. No blink tagger for him. There's gonna be the stop coming through. Not yet. He has the mana for it, but again, jumping in. Arise right, shows up just at the perfect time. Finds himself dominating three. Here comes Anna. He does have his Elder Dragon form. Fly might be the next target. Sonic Wave on cooldown, but he's got that scream ready. He's about to pop it off and will. Fly still has the global at TP. He gets off the Dark Tankers. The stop comes through, but they do get that double for Arise. Anna getting low. Half HP now. Bottling up through the best that again. Again has that Elder Dragon form. Bone 7 getting low. Dragon Tail up at 5. No Tail coming to the rescue. But here comes the rise. Gets the triple. The Ghost Ship. It's not there in time. And Bone 7 will slither away. Only to oh, go no. down to the Silencer and the Arcane Curse, I believe. Doesn't ever really fall. The Shadow Wind will heal. Arise back up. Be the ones initiating at the very least. And so that means a Blink Dagger on Bone 7. Um, they have to wait for that item first. Don't try and push into any towers. Even pushing top lane, uh, I would disagree with. We'll see what they decide to go for. It's the ghost ship again. The stomp comes out. This time, 3-3 might not make it out alive. They jump in, clap. They do get off that ultimate, but here comes the global. Milan is in trouble. Our splitter about to bring him down. The fire spirit will. Our seek about to get cycloed into the boulder toss first and foremost. Jerex has the stomp ready to go as well. And just like that, he said Kaiku he did not get stopped. However, they're turning it around. RK Curse, great Psych put on a Queen of Faith. Bone 7 is trouble now. They will lose the Silencer. Elder Dragon Storm going. They need to get Bone 7. He's going to arm the toggle. They still have that disable up under the clop. She can still fight momentarily. She will find another kill. It's a double for Ana, though. And right now, the Queen of Pain is a low, and she is hightailing it out of there. 
and another smoke. They will not head top. They know that S4 is no longer there. Top tower is See if they can wrap around. This might be huge. And we're OG's position right now. Flying here at them. And KP's bone seven. Slithering crush onto three. There's the gold coming out as well. Can they find the damage fly? Death Ward coming through. Fatal Bond stuff as well. Now they're jumping with the Bruce, but somehow nobody dead yet for OG. The first of all might be both seven. And it will with a stop check. Here comes Gary Splitter. They might find this agent. It's not even there. She's dead for 56. No agents included. RC is about to chase down. There's the boulder toss. It'll be the fourth to fall as the vengeful spear goes down. Oh no, it's going to be a disaster. Milan somehow does enough damage to get two, but they might lose all five. Try to juke and jive, and he actually might make it away. The X marks will finally go. Ana does have his arm, but needs to be careful. Milan about to fall. The breathe fire. Five dead. Kai P get wiped. Wow. No such damage coming out to anybody else from Kai P. They'll back together and he's get ready for another creep wave. They have another observer ward. And they should finally get this tier one tower mid. It takes a lot of effort. Arise jumps in aggressively. You guys have a BKB. Now the Slurry Crush this time on it two again. Swords gonna come out nicely. They have the silence up. They will bring down S4. No tail getting chased after it. All of a sudden, Kai P. They don't give a game about that last fight. They've taken a couple. They might be able to get a kill here or two. For OG, in fact, 3-3 will fall as well as Slardar. Now everyone's starting to get low. Milan gets a nice cast off, but don't worry. The stop is there. Set up for OG, and they're about to turn and get two more. Sly will find himself a double kill, and it's too much of a dive. Uh, it was looking so good again, Cap. They'll include some sort of initiation. We'll just sit in the tree line for now. Oh, I don't oh. think Kai P should be TPing back for this. They're it's hard to defend if you're not set up. Bone 7, Swarm's not going to hit him. The global silence is going to come through. It's a bit early, but there's that BKP. Arise is trying to fight this as best as possible. He's taking a lot of damage from Ana. That Sonic Wave will go. This is the Agent's God with no BKP now. They will get off the, uh, at least the, L the Death Ward. It's not doing enough, but they have the Chaotic Offering blowing through as well. They're so tanky and all these heroes. The rum is helping out so much. Fly gets a double kill. Arise is barely alive now, getting stunned up as well. The clap will go. S4 finds the double. The Chaotic Offering is doing a nice job. It's a 3 for 4 so far. 3-3 three, three is doing what he can, but S4 still going to work. Now they're going to the Torrent. They swap him out of it, though, nicely. Match Missile, no tail will fall. It's a double kill. Turns into a 4 for 4. That rum wears out. All of a sudden, the Chaotic Offering and 3-3 three, three start hitting like trucks. That he has to deal with. Now there's no disables that should really stop him from getting off his ult. The smoke, though, Bone 7. Oh, so close to initiating. He is going to find it with a sprint. They get off the bash as well. There's the global silence. DKB ready to go. Sonic Wave flies out. DK still in trouble. Elder Dragon form. The gold is going to come through on the other side. They break down Ana immediately. On the other side, you do have the clap going. Milan is able to get off that mech to keep himself alive. Swap coming through. 3-3 three, three pops the BKB itself, and it's going to town. It's a 1-for-1. One one. Turns into a 2-for-1 as 3-3 three, three does the eliminate the fly silencer. Now they'll find another hero. The cook-up falls. S4 still will find a triple kill, though, on his own. It's going to town. He will find the Queen of Pain as well. And now Kid vs. Bone 7 pops the BKB. No mana for that clap ready to go. He'll try to turn his attention to Bone 7. The Golems are still there. The Yules comes out from Jerax. There's the stomp. Doesn't time it right. Will actually just narrowly miss it. And now Bone 7 on the hunt. Finds the Blink Slytherin Crush. Amp damage. Trying to go to work. TP's gonna come out. No bash. No oh, bash. Come on. No bash. He gets two misses. Two misses coming out. Bone 7 cannot find the bash. I thought maybe because of the, the Orchid Silence, he wouldn't be able to pull himself back in time, but... He's barely good, but he's good. Gear 2's being traded across the map. A people will go on to Ana. So they're in crush. Uh-oh. Ana in trouble. A couple of bashes. Now the match pistol. He's in trouble. And he will finally fall. It's just the age that F4 jumps in. The split narrowly dodges that golem drop. Meanwhile, they yet to get off the death for immediately. They'll bring him down with the earth splitter. The torrent finds RC. He'll fall. Devil kills the dragon. They also bring down both of the golems. This might be the opening they're looking for here, Cap. Yeah, this is looking good. OG can at least try and force buybacks. We know there isn't any from Kai P. Um, so Kai P are going to have to go into a three versus five. They still have the BKB up on the Queen of Pain, though, so they can fight this one, even at the number disadvantage. She's going to pop it. Here comes the Lotus Orb. 
And she's taking so much damage, she has to flank out nearly live. Bo Simba will not be lucky enough. He doesn't have buyback. This tier three will almost certainly drop. Uh-oh, three, three, get a case down as well. He got hit up with Snop. There's a couple of right clicks. Look at Fly's damage go to work. 30 stolen intellect. Now they're going to find the Yules to stop as well. The Orchid comes out, but it doesn't do enough. She buys back instantly, and all of a sudden, one full set of racks gone, and this game looks awful for Kaipi at this point. And a Slaughter slightly out of position, and 3-3 doesn't swap him out of that fight, and then he swaps a Rise into that engagement. Uh, just made everything look so much worse. Now yeah. buybacks have gone down, but OG are still going to make a clean escape. You're going to get a really good Primal split in. Yeah. He's already had a couple of good ones, too. I mean, like, he's, S4 actually has done an amazing job this game. 10-8 and 13. His Primal splits have been game-saving. Great BKB, the bone set initiation, not going to work out. Canagon actually dropped nicely. Meanwhile, the jump in. Lon looking for that death support. They've already taken down one fly. Meanwhile, Han is going to fall next as well. It comes down to no tail as well as S4, and they're doing a lot of great work so far. Jirak gets the yields off the time. His hex is already on cooldown. Torrent up. They want 3-3. BKB's down for him. They will have the primal split done momentarily. And the Chaotic Offering is still going to work. 3-3 still might fall in the end. It's a 4 for 3 exchange. Pretty good fight so far. They might get all 5. But will they lose the fourth hand before they get S4? The Shiva's Guard is there. But don't worry. Arise is there to save the day. And turn this into a 3 for 5. And they get the gem back as well. Like, you don't hold on to it a little bit longer if you like, yeah, but what I, if I, I got think that I BKB get away. in 60 minutes? Yeah, I think, I, think <laughs> you know? I can get away without having a BKB right now. It's fine. It's going to go on another 20 minutes at least. Speaking of which, Boat 7 comes in. BKB is pop for here. Here's the ghost ship as well. Static offering drops down. Cast will fly through, bouncing pretty nicely. Still has BKB coming up for Ana. Not used yet. Here comes the Elder Dragon. Pulse. Still getting disabled. Left, right, center, 3-3. Three, three. Pops his own BKB. Here comes the Lotus Orb as well. They'll take down both of the Golbs. And now for Kaipi, it might be time to back out. But here comes that Dragon Tail. Ventral Spirit pouring it up. One more right click. They'll find it. Most of it is in. Onto Ana with the BKB down now. And Arise comes in. Great Sonic Wave. Is it going to be enough? He has an Aegis. So if he goes down here, it might not be the end of the world. You can see how much damage OG are taking right now. No Tail trying to leave. The rum's going and, and getting off of them, and it looks like Ana, the Death Lord, hits the full of the race. It's three for Milan. He finds another one. It's three down, and Type P will turn it. They will find Jirax with the upheaval as well. Now here comes the rise. It's Hex back up in one. He can use it momentarily. The Yules will be first from Jirax to just try to keep himself alive. Slithering so Crush. Bones and it finds the double. Four dead on the side of OG. What a fight. Ana is just going to work on this rack. They'll find it another target. It's Bone 7 getting hit up with a boulder toss and Cyclone as well. Jirax is getting into position now. They still will find this melee rack. 23 seconds without the squad. Like Bone 7 going in. They want the DK. The Hex gets loaded to work. And here we go. S4 finds himself the refresh orb. They're going in against Global Sounds. See you later, Quap. She has to buy back. She was dead for two minutes without it. And now she's up and ready to go. Roche respawning in two minutes. With the racks down now, it looks like OG can turn their attention towards getting in a, an Aegis, getting out of here successfully, and then you know, maybe finishing this game off. But it looks like the Earth Panda will be able to get out the Wave of Terror, not there in time to cancel the Blink Dagger. And all five look to escape scot-free from OG. Down mid. No buybacks for them. Everybody on OG, short of Jerax, has a buyback. OG don't even really seem to care at this point. Look at where No Tail is. He's just, I'm in the base. Hold on, gotta buy a TP scroll real quick. Just kidding, I bought. Wait, what? What are you? <laughs> what? What are you? Just use your boots to travel. That's the least efficient thing. Oh my god. They're, They're actually going for the tier 4! Wait. S4 has to come in. He's got to use the split right now. The Mechanic Offering is already down. No kill. Go chip. This throne is taking a lot of damage. No clip is available. They're doing some serious work here. Arise is coming in. Can they get this done? The Chaotic Offering is doing so much work. They have to right-click it down. They will find Arise just barely. He gets X mark back. But it's so no. low. Oh my god. Are they going to get it? Oh my god. They're barely going to get it. No. They won't find it. All five times. The throne is 200 HP. And GG is called. That was no, that didn't need to be nearly as exciting as it needed to be for OG, but they will get it done. And uh, what a game! Oh, wow! Oh, all right. Uh, what the hell? Why did OG need to make that so close? Why did No Tail? I was entertaining, but scroll? I don't know why did he go into the enemy's fountain to swap out his <laughs> space boots for a TP scroll when he has bots. I like No Tail was just like lost it there. Oh, I I, I just got a a notification that I got a successful ban, so that's cool. Help me. Yeah. Yeah.